<clears throat> hey, what's going on, everybody? From the CCTV podcast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today, we're joined by... Do I... What, am I me? You just... You're Thomas. I'm Thomas. Hey. And so there cheers. See, it was a hot cheers. ones. It was a hot ones intro. Yeah. But we don't rip that straight from Sean Evans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Having said it, I'm actually cult. I'm not Sean Evans. Yeah, if they were listening to this on Spotify. Yeah. Like, they they could be fooled. Yeah, they're like, wait. Who's watching a, who's watching hot ones on on the Spotify? Yeah. Yeah. You just it, hear them go Oh, yeah. it's a hot wing. <laughs> oh, this is spicy. Mm, they have the sound effects still. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And here's the last dab, and you you be the sound effect. Oh yeah, that's a spicy. <laughs> yeah. oh, I need a. Do you have milk? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm tapping out. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for doing like mouth eating noises into your ear in the first like thirty seconds, but yeah, I think th- you know it portrays the joke. How are you doing, Tom? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. What are you going to talk about? What's in your mind? Um, do we get straight to it? We can talk about this weekend. We can talk about this weekend. It was my birthday, guys. No, it wasn't. It was Friday last week. Yeah. But I had a big birthday party. Yeah. And it was it was grandiose. Yeah. And it basically turned into a fan meetup. It did turn into a fan yeah. meetup. And it, was, it, it pumped the ego enough where I, I drove home happy. Yeah. I was like... I mean, 99% of the people that listen anyway are just people that we know in person. Yeah. So it was kind of just them... You know, just seeing just us in person. Out, really? Yeah. 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 It's kind of like, guys, are we doing a good job? <laughs> yeah, guys, do you like... And all of our listeners were there. And they were all hammered. Oh. All, absolutely. They were like four or five drinks deep each. Yeah. And they were <laughs> what a good first impression. Yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm just playing around. Yeah, that's... Yeah. It helped, like, kind of ease me into it. Yeah. Where I was like, I realized that they are blind right now. They are... Wanker. Yeah, if you do something silly, they won't even remember. Yeah, dude, they're seeing sideways. <laughs> I could tell a dead joke, and they were like, "That's funny." Yeah, they're like, "Man, like, you're so funny on the podcast and in real life." Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. Everyone that watches this thought I was five six. Mm. I'm not, by the way. Let's clear that up. Yeah. Stand up. I'm not five six. You should have done the thing where you actually, cr- <laughs> you get up and you're just like, I get up and I'm like, actually, redo, redo, ready. Yep. So it was five, six. It's five, six. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm not five, six. Let's stand up and see. Yeah. Yeah. See, he's like five, eight. Mate. Yeah. On a good day. Yeah. That's yeah. that's like average height anyway. So it's like, it's what, fucking whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I five six is like an assault. Of yeah. Character. Yeah. Not. There's nothing wrong with being five six. Before we get into this too much, I do just want to say to everyone listening, it was really nice to see you, and uh, it warmed my heart. Full sincerity, as as sincere as I'm gonna get. Took twenty episodes to to you know, crack, crack down, down and out. Yeah, crack into my fleshy center. But it was actually really nice to see everyone who came. And and um, if you listen to this, you probably went. If you were there, you probably In all there. likelihood. It, yeah. was, it was very sweet, and it was what I needed, and it warmed my heart. Yeah. Anyway. This is back to everyone else. I'm not 5'6". Yeah, but staying on big 5'6", it's really funny to lie to people before you meet them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I said it in like one of the first... It's like a funny joke, one of the first episodes. Yeah. I was 5'6". Yeah. And then everyone was impressed that I was not that. Yeah, they're like, wow, you're so tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm 5'9". <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Or um, some of the fellas from that group, I told you. Or no, they told you. That you lied who you were before you met them. Yeah, I, I, I told them, I told my buddy to tell the rest of them that I was like, um, I was like a fat black Jewish guy. Yeah. And they were like expecting... A fat black dude to come meet them. Yeah, and they they you. just accept that with full sincerity. Yeah, they like they like trusted you. Yeah, and then you just backstabbed them. Yeah, yeah. She was like, well, it was backstab. It's the opposite though. Kind of, yeah, it was yeah. funny. Yeah, I think it's just funny to be silly and just completely lie about first impressions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, it, it would have been funnier if it's you were just super stern in person. I had no comedy. I didn't like. I was like, yeah, weird you for didn't the crack a smile. Yeah, you were just full I was sens- silent. Yeah, I just sat there, my arms crossed. Yeah, that would have been. It was weird, that, dude. It stuck with me. Like it freaked me out. It made my anxiety literally like go through the roof. Like when I, it put shivers down my spine. Yeah, when we were like asking who's done the book mm. about signing your thing. Yeah, and then one of the people who listens to this is like that I've never met before was like, yeah, you Thomas, freak. have you signed it? And yeah. I was like. <laughs> oh, no. I, don't know you. I was like, sorry, I listened to the podcast. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, oh, oh god, it was good. Yeah, it was good. You felt like a little, your own little niche micro celebrity. Yeah, I was like, you know me, <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Instead of panicked, I was like, what do you mean, I'm Thomas? And I like, I just, like melted. Thomas, and you're just looking around as if he hasn't seen you. Before. Like, yeah, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think it helped with the first impression. They were all hammered. They were drinking gin like, watered down with wine. Yeah, yeah. Good on them. Yeah, so they listen to this. They know what they were doing. Yeah, if you can remember, you know. If you can remember, <laughs> I don't think they were that gone. Yeah, they're definitely something. Man. They're like overly happy to see me. Yeah, I was like this is well, this. I'm gonna disappoint you when I meet you again. You just have personality that lights up the room, Tom. Oh, shut up! Edit in the the like, the, like the one stock. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, you had plans after. Where'd you go afterwards? I went. I went with them. Yeah, and we played poker and then Magic the Gathering. That uh, that was. I was so sad. Yeah, because we called afterwards. Yeah, talk about stuff, and you were like, "Yeah, dude, I." I played poker and I was like, "Oh, it's fine. I can get. It. I uh, I can get. It. I can. I can not do poker." And you said we played Magic the Gathering. Yeah. And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> you play magic? <laughs> Without me? Without me, dude. What? I didn't know you were huge into magic. Together. I have like four or five decks. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I swear to God. Have you ever played? Yeah. Oh, man. This guy knows his shit. Yeah, dude. I'm throwing up the like, land and like, oh, the yeah. planes. Yeah. Oh, in manner. Yeah. Dude, I had the elves. Dude. I had the elves. I was, what is it? Green and white? Yeah. I was like, uh, every time I tap gets me a green mana and every time I tap that card anyway I put down a white soldier yeah dude <laughs> it's sick I have like special ones I have like the like legendary cards and stuff oh yeah you have the the, the, the mega dragon you have the lord of the rings like the one <laughs> the one card yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah I play yeah. I play all the time actually yeah yeah those that don't know there's lord of the rings crossover the one it's the one like, card like the ring the one ring to rule them all it's yeah. like a million dollars for that card yeah like actually IRL and I have it in my cupboard and no one gets to see it because I don't get invited to play but magic. But you don't keep it slaved and it's fucked. It's like... Got it's scuffed. crumbled. Yeah. yeah, it's got scuffed <laughs> corners. Yeah. It's got that thing where it folds over and over and over and it's got the white line the white across. Lines, yeah. yeah. It's like frayed on the corner. Oh, yeah. 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 And you refuse to put it in a sleeve to this day. Yeah. It keeps it genuine. Yeah. It keeps it <laughs> authentic. No, that's the equivalent of like a, a CSGO skin and you get the shittiest quality. Yeah, I get like... You like battle, battle tested. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, dude, I was actually depressed when you said you played Magic because I was like, dude, I've kind of, I've like, I like Magic a lot. I have no doubt, and I've never, I've like never played it outside of like a home. I have no doubt those fellas are gonna play Magic with you someday. That'd be sick. <laughs> That's, we gotta make that happen. Yeah, and D and D. Yeah, because then I got back on the hype train of D and D and Hearthstone as well. And Hearthstone. I was like, dude, I used to swear Hearthstone. I like, beat that game. <laughs> Hearthstone. I like beat the campaign in that or something. Like the card game? Yeah. Yeah. On, on PC, you beat all the bosses? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Hearthstone? Yeah. Do you yeah. want to play some Hearthstone? I, yes. <laughs> Gang. I would. We turn this into a Hearthstone podcast? Hell yeah. <laughs> dude, what got me into Magic was an old YouTube channel. Yeah. They'd roll a dice and they'd have to choose... Whether they play Hearthstone or Magic? No, what deck of Magic they play, uh, depending on what number it was. And they were nice. rocking like... Like water uh, and like death. And like ooh, this is a weird deck. Uh, this isn't usual. Ooh, defense and aggression. Yeah. Whoa. And they're, like, <laughs> they're like, wow, we got the the blue, and the black and white. I'm calling this the Oreo. And they're like, wow, nice. But they brought in like celebrities. They had like Justin Long on and stuff. I think it's Justin Long. As some actor that I think is controversial now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. They had like micro celebrities. 
like, like, like actual actors. They're not even micro celebrities, like real actors. Yeah. Who have been in like Oscar worthy movies. Oh yeah. Just on like this little set where they're like. <laughs> let's get, you know what? Let's get the online Magic the Gathering game and we'll we'll play. Dude, I'm so down. We'll play. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. I'm so down, dude. It is so fun. <laughs> what a fucking nerd, guys. Okay, dude. I played it once and it was, it was, and, dude, it and was then, stupid. Then you called about D&D mm. and I was like, because the guys that listened to this that, that yeah. were at the party were like, yeah. they were a big, such a big fan of me. They were like, let's invite you to D&D. Yeah. And they were like, I was like, dude, I want to play D&D with you. Like, you wouldn't play D&D with you. I was like, I want to play D&D with you. Yeah. And I was like, they're like, no, you, you want to? Are you sure? I was like, dude. <laughs> Guys, trying to for so long. Thomas is a big nerd. Yeah, he's tried to he's tried to recoup his image. What a fucking nerd! It's taken twenty episodes for me to break that. Everyone yeah. sees me as five six. Yeah. And they're like, hey, are, are you still doing golf? By the way, Tom. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, dude. That's what I thought. <laughs> Laurie, oh, Laurie invited me to play golf. He did. I did get hyped for that. Big up, Laurie. Yeah. He invited me to play golf for you. Hell yeah. Yeah. Then I got hype on the D and D train again. Yeah. And I was like, I was even scrolling through like the card, like oh, the uh, <laughs> character builder. Oh, a wizard of mystery. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Dude. I was scrolling through like the uh Yeah. Hexblade Hexblade Warlock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's what I wanted. I was like, dude, I think that's the one I want. You know what? That would kind of actually fit in with what we have going right now. Yeah. If you want to play a Hexblade Warlock, I think that would actually fit in with what's happening in that D and D. It was either Hexblade or like the Undead or Undying Warlock. Ooh. And I was like, I'm down to clown. Yeah. Because I don't really know what the Hexblade does. Yeah. What race do you think you'd be in d and I don't know. Everyone Didn't everyone say there were elves? Like dwarves or something? We're all dwarves. Yeah. Yuri said you'd be a half-orc. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, That's what yeah. she said. That's what yeah, you told me. Screwed up. That's what screwed up. Yeah. I don't know what she's trying to say about your parents, but... Yeah. That's a hate crime. Yuri, uninvited. If yeah, you're gone, <laughs> never coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Bad first impression. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you didn't even speak to her at the party. Yeah, look. It was crazy because like... Gang, I invited Thomas's girlfriend out of out of kindness. And then yeah. it was kind of like... Didn't even say a word to her. Dude, she we spoke after and she's like... I literally spoke and had a 10-minute conversation with every single other person. Yeah. Except Colt. And it was his birthday. You should have sat closer. You're like, ah, is that your best friend? I'm going to the end of the table. That's what like our seat was. Yeah. I got, I got waved down to the end. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm at the end of the table. Yeah. Oh, well. This is cool. No, we hang out enough. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I got so through. I was, I like went to bed hype. Yeah. Looking at like Magic the Gathering and oh, Dungeons and the Dragons. boy. I'm like, oh god, I'm a mystical world of adventure. And then I got invited to the group chat and I was like, yes. yes. I'm in with the fucking nerds. Hell yeah. Not calling them fellas nerds, but. Compared. Yeah. Compared to, compared compared to, to us. us. Yeah, yeah, compared to us. Let's go on there. Wait, let's do like. <laughs> yeah. Nerds. <laughs> you fucking. Nerds. Stuff you in a lock. Yeah. Um, enough about. Yeah, that's why that was a nerdy ass rant. Enough about nerdy shit. Yeah. Um, let's talk about like cool shit. Fist bump. Maha, maha. That was fun. That was a fist. funny bit. That was a funny. Wait, bit. can we quickly before you go into this? Yeah, real quick. We injured my my girlfriend's Asian. Yeah, Filipino. To and be then exact. when everyone walked in, when mm. we walked in, we got there a little bit late. My bad. She was getting ready. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we walked because we were there for a while as well. Yeah, yeah. But like, she walked in, and she talked to your mom for a little bit, and I'm like, Colt. Do like the Filipino tradition. Do the Filipino tradition. And he like traditional <laughs> grading. Like hold her hand, like shake, shake hands. Hand. And she did like the full Filipino hand yeah. to the forehead. I was like, that's a power move. Yeah. It's what like, does that mean, by the it's way? It's like respect your elders type. Respect thing. you. I just called a woman old. She's older than you. Yeah, I know, but like you can't say that. No, no. It was just like that's it's rude. Just, it's just mutual Filipino respect. Yeah. And then I didn't know this was gonna happen. <laughs> you told Laurie to bow. So yeah. he goes like Yuri goes to shake her, has shake his hand, yeah, and he rejects the handshake <laughs> and bows, <laughs> arms stiff to the side. Yeah. And this I was like, I looked, I was like, what just happened? This is this is my buddy Laurie, our buddy Laurie, who's like mega mega weeaboo. Yeah, 
um, has been to like Japan, has told me like, oh, it's the best country on it. Yeah. God bless Laurie. And then what a legend. He, he hit her with a bow. Of- I'm so happy you did that. That was so. That was a good bit. That was so funny. I'm so happy you did that. I apologized to Yuri later. I was like, it's not. It wasn't like a racist thing. Yeah. It was all in good fun. It was just kind of like a joke because he's like a weird boot. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> God, I and love. And then, but I before, love that he committed before we got to the actual like party, of the mm. event. Yeah, she was workshopping bits to do like to you. Oh, and I was like, don't, we, don't tell me him. I barely got to say anything to her. No, we had that. We finalized on that one bit. On the maha. Yeah. Yeah. And as we exit, I was like, she, she did it I was right like, she didn't in. say it. Like, she didn't do anything. She didn't even give him the, the bro fest. No. And then, yeah. And I'm like, and as we're leaving. As we're leaving. She put out like a, the knuckles. I'm like, a little bit odd. They're like, that's how you say goodbye. Yeah. And she was like, you both knuckled. And she went, maha. And I was like, there's no way you just did it. Because I saw you like start laughing. I was like, what just happened? <laughs> there's no issue. Maha. You know what? Reinvited. Yeah, that was sick. That though. was a good bit. That was a good, like, pun- that was funny. I was like, that, in tears. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were th- <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that you were, like, taken back. You were like, what? Yeah. You're like, what just happened? Yeah. yeah. I don't even. I still haven't said, like, a word to her proper. Like, I don't even know how her voice sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you had a conversation, or you've had his, like, <laughs> this? And yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Shout out. That's funny. Shout out to Tom's girlfriend. Yeah. Good lass. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's sick that you haven't had a full car. Like, you don't even know her. Nah. And all you've done is Filipino tradition and bro fist. That's all right. Yeah. You want to talk about more nerd shit? Oh, sure, man. Yeah, I was I was gonna try to tell you about this last time before you left after the podcast, but I figured I'd save it for today. You know VTubers, right? Yeah. Do you know they do IRL meetups? No. They do I V okay VTubers. Everyone knows what VTuber is. Cringe. Yeah, pretty cringe. They're weird. Yeah, I. We can say that's not a hot take. I do okay. VTubers, like I don't really get it, right? I I kind of get like, oh, it's anime in real life. I mean, it's a cute, like, do, 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 anime. But part of me also wants to kind of do that. Just for the bag? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm putting in a voice changer, 100. Oh, 100%. We get a voice, like, okay. It'd be like a 10K startup. Yeah. Like, voice changer, set up, get all the equipment, get signed to, like, one of the, one of the, like, they, they actually have, like, production companies that do it. Jesus Christ. Like, they're, like, an agency. Yeah. Right? So get signed to like an agency, get like a, apparently all the rigging is really expensive. Actually? Yeah. Because you have to make a model and like each individual hair yeah, follicle. Guess, yeah. yeah. I'm like going really in depth as if like, oh yeah. You do it? Yeah. I watch it every day, dude. Yeah, you're like Iron Mouse? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that's what I was going to show you is uh, VTubers, they actually do IRL meetups and it's, it's, it's incredibly bizarre. Oh, no, there's on a screen. Okay. Yeah. But it's like, they go and they're talking to them. They're like, oh my God, I think... If you can imagine, I think it's like a... It's either a hologram or a screen in front of them. I reckon it's just a curved screen. Yeah, like a long, uh, like translucent screen. Yeah. 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 It's, It's very strange, very bizarre stuff. It is um, weird that they're just they have fans that meet them but don't actually meet them. Yeah, because it's like, well, what's the point? But I w- I was gonna try and find one. I've seen ones where they um, you know, it's at anime expos and they're like, oh, the meetup, and they like go and hug the screen or something. That's weird. Dude. Yeah, it's very strange. Or it's like um, they have like artificial, you know, that Japanese technology where you can like. Uh, you can kiss and they can feel the kiss. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they don't do that. But it's like they hold their hand or something. Oh. And it's like a robot. It's, God, it's strange. That's disgusting. Yes. Yeah, if you're... Yeah, a, it's... Yeah. Very bizarre. Like, in fairness, they're chasing the bag. Like, they are getting... Oh, no no shame to the VTubers. Like, they're... They are getting their bread. They is, are... Is VTubing awesome? Magic 8 Ball, we're still doing this. Da, 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 da. Focus and ask again. Fuck you. <laughs> Um, That's why every side of this is like, yeah, it's indecisive eight ball. Yeah, but like, big up to to uh, still giving you no yeah. answer. Yeah, big up to 
VTubers. They get in the bag. Mega fans of them. A little bit weird, though. Yeah. If I was one, I wouldn't tell anyone that I was a VTuber, for sure. Neither. I wouldn't tell I'd anyone that I watch... What's the what's the shark one? Is it like Gara Gara or something like that? Know. You don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't say I watch that. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, no. no I'd tell no one. I'd be like, I'm going to come, bro. It's weird. I do finance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. That's disgusting. But like, there's been hours of, of my like, late nights from like... I could chase the bag like that. Yeah. Dude. Like, if it comes down to it. Well, I mean, is there a VTuber podcast yet? Don't, su- don't be surprised if we have a fucking huge rebrand really soon. <laughs> yeah. Like, re- like insane. Yeah. Not any funnier though. <laughs> no, no. We're still still, still middling content. Yeah, still us. But. <laughs> it's still us. It'd be anime and shit. And we have like pink everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, like red and black hair. Would we be girls? Probably, right? Yeah. With voice changes? Yeah. 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 And then we could appeal to like, you know, neat, neat guys. You know what a neat is? Uh, What is it called? Fuck. I can't remember what a neat is, but it's someone with like low life ambition. Oh, okay. What is a neat? What is a neat? Uh, uh, Not in education, employment or training. Oh, so it's like... Not educated, not employed, not training. So it's just living. Yeah. So not doing anything. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of neat guys out there gaming and they're like I think they could get behind in a VTuber podcast. Yeah. And then one episode we do like, oh shit, the filters didn't work. Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> we like keep <laughs> the voice changes on. Yeah. Keep the voice changes on, but it's just us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna happen. And you're gonna tell it's us because of the way we talk. Yeah. We're going to have like high-pitched girl voices, but we're still going to talk about like cock and balls, <laughs> like reddits. You're going to know it's us. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, VTubers, get that bag. VTubing fans, weird VTuber meetups, IRL, where you like hug the screen. Disgusting. Yeah. And yeah. smelly, probably. The screen's probably dirty. Oh, man. Oh. Dude, it's probably like a... Yeah, it's like when a kid goes to a a, a, a McDonald's play place. Yeah, it is. Licking the plastic screen. Yeah. yeah. That's probably what they get there. Yeah. They're trying to like look under their skirt. It's like, I'm a screen, brother. It doesn't project. Yeah. Yeah. Be decent, people. Yeah, that's going on the podcast idea list. Yeah. Yeah. Be <laughs> too. Write that down. Write that down. Um, could we have some heaters that we could go on the pod, like the settings? Yeah. For the podcast? We should start doing them soon. Yeah. I think so. Next week? We could probably good. Okay, I yeah. know the one you, you the thinking of the. We could say we could kind of say it. If you made I, it, I want it to be more of like a just whoa. a random like a what? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, that'd be bad. But like the that yeah. one? Okay, okay. Yeah. Watch next one. After episode twenty, it's a new season. Yeah, big we production. Location. Big production value. Oh, do we? Um. <laughs> Maybe we're just on top of the house. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, yeah, we changed location. We are like two meters taller. Yeah, we're above. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same podcast. We're on stilts. <laughs> <laughs> same road. We're just standing. So that's yeah. it. Like what? Yeah. All right, Tom. There's something that you want to talk about that I know you want to talk about because you keep sending me shit about it. I'm sending shit to about it to you, and you're very reciprocal. Okay. Gay? No, I'm kidding. Um. <laughs> The fake middle-aged woman workouts. Dude, I hate them <laughs> so much. Yeah. Can you, just, can you just tell the audience what you were talking about? Because it's always like a random niche exercises that fat middle-aged women have made yeah. that aren't working out. Yeah. There's one that's like the drumming on a like a exercise, exercise ball, ball that's yeah. in a bin. The yeah. songs. And they're like... Dum, 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 and they get yeah. hype. No, that's not working. Double out. time. Boom, 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 <laughs> yeah. Boom. yeah. Like the blue man group of old white women. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's not a real exercise. Yeah, yeah. And then there's another one where they're like, it's the jumping. Where they have like the. The, like, st- they're the, attached the, to the bungees. Roof. Yeah. They have bungees around their waist and they're jumping and diving and swinging back. Yeah. yeah. That does not. That's not a workout. You no. Know, you do not do lose anything doing that no that's not high intensity you gain no muscle because you're relaxing you're laying you're swimming basically yeah 
Yeah, you're that's, cash. That's less effort than walking. Yeah. 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 She's kind of like... <coughs> boom, boom. What's, what was the other one? It was like a weighted hula hoop or something, but it wasn't. Yeah. It was like a weight that they strap around and they swing and it spins around and they're like one hour one way, one hour the other. It's like that's two hours that you could have just spent on a treadmill or walking. Yeah. Walking outside and enjoying your day. And there's a, there's another one where they have the uh, like the moon boots on. Yeah. And it has like the springs on the bottom. And the then kangaroo like, shoes. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like jumping. They're working out songs. with kangaroo shoes. Yeah. What the hell is the point of that? I'm like, dude, you do anything. But workout. But workout. Yeah. Yeah. I just pisses me off, man. But it comes up so much. Yeah. And I always see the comments and they all have the same feeling as me. Yeah. Of just hating on these chicks. Yeah. This is a very judgmental podcast, I've realised, by the way. No, it is. But like... It's fair. We're, we're with the masses here. Look, the devil's advocate at... You know, they're trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, these these workouts are fake out hell. Yeah, no, dude. What do you call that? What do you call these workouts? I don't know. I, I don't know. the comments where it's like... 10 sets of tomfoolery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 sets of tomfoolery. That's what they are. Yeah. They're not real workouts. They're not engaging anything. No. They're not cardio. I don't it's know. Maybe if you're like, out. maybe if you're like super unfit, maybe the hitting stuff is like cardio. It's like, it's really, it's suboptimal. Yeah, 100. Chris Bumstead isn't doing that shit. No, no, <laughs> no. They're not getting like old 60s videos, 60s a bit far, like 80s golden age of bodybuilding, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he's like... I said it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> where he's like hitting the balls and stuff. Yeah, he's like, whoa, like <laughs> Superman. I really like this workout. This is really good. Feel the pump. Come on. Come and on. Feel the yeah. pump. And he's just like... Boom, 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 boom. to the moon. Like what, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's fake. It's nonsense. Yeah, it's cringe and it's not really working. It's... One step below, or maybe one step below, one step below those like TV infomercial fake workouts. Do you mean like the products? Yeah. Well, they have like the cycling at the desk. Yeah. Can we talk about them real quick? Yeah. Because they're so funny. Yeah, they're they're like, like those advertisements for like fake workout things. Yeah. And if you water now, you'll get the Ab Cruncher XL with an extra leg warmer and a high. <laughs> so did you just roll? Yeah. Yeah, although it was cycle at your desk. It's really scuffed because it's obviously people who have worked out and they did not get their physique doing that. Who like always, the guys that are selling it. Are they male models? Yeah, they're male models who have clearly gone to the gym for like 10 plus years. And they're showing you the shake weight. Yeah. And it's just like, he didn't get ripped off that. No. No. No, not at all. The wobble boards? Yeah. And it's like, with our new biometric uh, technology, patented biometric technology. Yeah. You can shake the weight off. Yeah. And they're like the, 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 the wobble boards that shake Ooh, you. Yeah. yeah. And then it shows like results and it's like, I, la- I lost 10 kilo. It's, I mean, it's targeted to old people. Yeah. Because they're the only people like like super duper, unless you like really desperate middle-aged people, but mainly old people. And it's like, I lost 12 kilos over a year doing this. Yeah. yeah. No, dude, you're old. You're degrading. That's just fake news. That's, that's your bones. It's just degrading. so fake. Yeah. That's bone weight you lost. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> You're degrading. You, you you can't stand up for too long. You, you got an aluminum hip replacement, brother. Yeah, That's yeah. the weight that came <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. You have hollow bones. You yeah. have hollow metal bones. You have like a new, like you don't have a leg anymore, dude. Yeah. You have a fake leg. Yeah. That's why you lost 12 kilos in a week. Yeah. It, you probably hurt your leg doing this fake bullshit. Yeah. Uh, you sit there and like, <laughs> yeah. I'm working out. That's yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. It's fake. Or it's like a, the one that I always remember, it's like a chair that you sit on and like, it's like on, on, not on ball bearings, but on like, you go in circles. on like pipes and you like roll back and forth or like side to side. Yeah. yeah. And it's like this weird chair thing where you're like, oh, it's the crunch maxer. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. There was one like that where it's like a, it's kind of like a seat, but you have like an armor and you just go in circles. Yeah. And it's like, this is the. The Crunch Destroyer, 4,000. Yeah, it's always, everything's crunch. It's, Every, a, cause it's all about crunch machine. Because everyone thinks like, oh yeah, I'll get abs. <laughs> get abs from this shit, clearly. Yeah, dude, what? Clearly. Did, did, they, did you not see the guy on the TV? It's like, you can sit down and yeah. get abs. And you're like, what? I can do that? I can, I can get abs and work, watch TV? Yeah. Because they're all things that you can do sitting down watching TV. 
Yeah. Conveniently, the TV ad is all stuff that you can do while sitting down watching TV. Oh, I could, I could watch more infomercials and sit down and get yeah. fit. I could, I could be in my office. I Margaret, buy three. Yeah, yeah well, you get a three for one deal. Order an owl and re- <laughs> you, okay. You be the guy watching the ad, right? Yeah. From Health Masters, we have the new. I don't know how to cover my voice too. From Health Masters, it's the new Crunch Maxer XL3. Oh, I could probably use one of them. Like Yo, them I'm Dave. Deal. I used to be a bodybuilder, but I put it all—I put all the weights down for the Crunch Maxer. I really can see results coming my way. Mm, I believe him. In one year, I, like him. I lost twenty kilograms and got the body of my dreams mm. just from the Crunch Maxer XL. She's just like me. With our new patented Crunch Maxer technology, Jesus, you can patented. crunch the weight away and get abs within two to three years. I I have that time. I'm sitting here. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just gonna watch TV. I'm watch go TV while you crunch. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing anyway. Yeah. I was like, fuck. I wish I had a good deal though, because I don't. I'm not. Order. I don't want one for the seventy dollars. It's one thousand dollars or ten easy payments of a hundred dollars. I could do that. I could do that. And if you order now, we'll throw in an instruction manual for free. I'm on it. <laughs> And, and if you order now, we'll double this offer and you'll get two instruction manuals for the price of one. <laughs> oh, bro, I need this. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, look at his wife. We, we could have one each. <laughs> we could oh, we could do this. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good deal. That's a good deal. I could yeah. do it while I'm knitting. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it while I'm reading the newspaper. Yeah. Any exercise that you can do super duper comfortably whilst also like watching TV or knitting Probably like, isn't. It's, it's not probably not not a not a good, gonna get you the body of your dreams. No. You can do it casual on the side, but the only only thing of those that I genuinely could see purpose to is like the leg ones, where it's like cycling you are, as you're you sitting. Are moving, yeah, because that's that's like almost replicating a cycling motion. Probably would be good for me when I'm long time gaming, yeah. so I don't get clotty shit legs. Yeah, you you, you, you might. I should probably get the cycle yeah. master. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Spin Cycle Master 3000. Not the Spin Master. The cy- It's all Master. They've all got it figured out. Yeah. They've all mastered it, Tom. Yeah, and the, the word like flows across. Like, the word like unlock. Yeah. Yeah. They've all got it mastered. They they've, all f- they've all figured out the secret plan that... Targets old people. Years and years of, of research and technology hasn't hit the mainstream, but the good people at like Crunch Max Co... Yeah. Where they they make like supplements and shit. And on like channel six at three AM. Hmm. You're like, wow. Wow. I can do this. You see you stay up late and you get the real shit on TV. Yeah. I actually just deviating a little bit. I actually really, really like watching infomercials. Like what? Because they all suck. Okay, one of the guys that drunkenly met you, right? Uh, I went to his house after something and we actually ended up sitting down for 30 minutes watching an infomercial. <laughs> and it, was re- it was really funny. It was really, really, really funny because it was like a TV chef showing this lady. I think maybe they were both TV chefs. And they were showing off this like all-in-one slow cooker, grill, rotisserie maker. Oh, I see them, yeah. 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 <laughs> it was really, really, really funny because the ad would like replay and then they show five more recipes. And then it would replay. And then it would show five more recipes. Yeah. And it's like, well, here's a hot dogs in a blanket. And, it's a, and you can glaze these. And it, it, it has a glazer built in. Now, you see, I have a conventional glazer. And it doesn't quite do the job. Yeah. But if you put it all in one in the glaze master. Dude, that reminds me of the one that like sticks with me. Yeah, yeah. There's like two. There's What's one, your what's favorite? Like, what's your favorite? It's like a cast iron blue steel pan. Yeah. And they're like, this is nonstick. Nothing will stick to it. Here. Yeah, and they, they cook like something to like hell and back, like it's just black. Yeah, and, like with a trusty wipe and water. Oh, that would stick on my regular cast iron. How yeah, it's black the... and white, and they're doing that. And, like, <laughs> has this ever happened to you? Yeah, mm. it's an old lady in black and white at the sink, being like scrubbing, scrubbing, I mean, and she like this, and she like hits something and it breaks. Yeah, yeah. And it's like well, uh, with our trusty blue steel carbon fiber uh, cast iron with a one wipe, it's gone. And yeah. it runs under the water for like two seconds, wipes clean, and it's like, 
Wow. Yeah. And that, can that do cheese? Oh, I can't believe how many times I made cheese chips on the cast iron. It's, yeah. it's stuck. And you just it's one wipe. <laughs> Gone. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one that's like, it's the chop thingy. The slap like, chop? Yeah. Slap chop. <laughs> yeah, it's always that. You got to give it to uh, the sham whale guy. Yeah. It's the sham whale guy. Okay. We're, we're a bit too young for like Billy Mays, but like sham whale guy, I remember. You're going to yeah. love my nuts. Yeah. 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 You got salads. You got <laughs> yeah. Diced. Triced. Yeah. Yeah. Potato. You want potato fries? <laughs> Done. Yeah. yeah. You need like I kind of want carrot. S- <laughs> that that would work for me. Look at that. We have a whole salad, a portion-sized salad, all in the thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Infomercials. Bang. Yeah. You're like you want diced eggs in your salad? <laughs> Done. They know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to watch, like, not joking, I kind of actually want to watch an infomercial now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. This is what we do after. Actually, part of, like, doing the switching to YouTube thing, we should actually cut, we should watch one. Yeah, we should. I think that would be like, funny. Like, reacting and, like, like bad ones. Yeah, I have a few ideas. I'll talk about it after the podcast. Okay. Don't tell me. Okay. Get this, get this one together. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry, that was just a business. You'll goal. see. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. You got any topics? I was going to mention something just then after you were talking about something. Yeah. I was talking about the slap chop, the infomercials. Oh, something afterwards. It was something IRL that I thought that was funny. I think it was from us hanging out with like the homies that were drunk. <laughs> yeah. God, that was just scenes. That was a good time. Yeah. Tell like them right now. Did you get a good impression of them? Oh, probably terrible, I'll be honest. <laughs> I do not know how you are sober. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Because, like, one of them was super welcoming. <laughs> like, oh, like, he loved, like, a big fan. <laughs> like, he was happy to see me. Yeah. And then the other two yeah. were kind of like... Uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, yeah, they're like, cool. Yeah, man. I guess you can join. Yeah, you want to play D&D with us? I guess. Yeah. Sure, man. But that was just so fun. Though. I, like, left and I was like... <laughs> I made three friends today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything? You, you give me something, Tom. Give me something. I have I have topics galore. Actual? If you're running dry. Do you? How many topics do you have? More than you can believe. Um, I just want a note of like, I don't like how people think that they're better than us because they don't follow anyone on Instagram. Yeah. Do you know, like, people that follow, like, one person on Instagram and it's Instagram themselves? Or they follow, like, a handful of things? Follow your friends. It's like celebrities will do it. They'll oh, follow, yeah. Follow, like, one or two people. Yeah, it's you, like, you'd think they'd know a lot of people. Yeah. But they're trying to be, like, cool and niche to have, like, the one and then, like, a million followers. <laughs> yeah. Like follow 11 people. They're trying to get the ratio right. Yeah. Yeah. But you're cringe, dude. Yeah, a little bit cringe. I mean, to be fair, it's probably not their personal... Yeah, Drake probably got to spam somewhere. Guys, Drake probably isn't going on to Champagne Poppy. Yeah. To like scroll through his feed. How are the kids doing? Yeah, he's like, wow. Um, oh, my neighbor got a new dog. Didn't see that. Yeah, well, wow. dude, my childhood friend got engaged. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably not popping on to do that. He's popping on to that dick pic leak of me was not real. Yeah. Please do not. He's gone onto his thing that's like a carpentry page that he just hides undercover. Yeah. As he's a real thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. <laughs> Piss me off, though. Yeah. Don't try to be mysterious online, dude. Mm. Like people from high school, you're not cool. Yeah. I know are there's that, a person. Are you specifically going after someone? Are you going to show me after? And you mean, like, what a dick. No, but there's just people from high school that are like trying to be mysterious and edgy and cool. Yeah. See, I'm half scared you're going after me. I don't follow. That many people, I don't think. I'm just tired. I'm like, dude, people like don't post like once every two years, and like don't follow many people. They have like two posts in their page. Yeah, yeah. I don't really. Yeah, I hate this type of guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really post on social media, man. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. I've got this. It's fine. Yeah, it's post every day on this. Every day. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. The captions haven't been working on Instagram recently. It's pissing me off. Yeah. Yeah, the captions they like half work, half don't. Hmm. Like, oh, actually, that gets me hated. Fell off. Instagram fell off. 
He had it. Fuck. Yeah, you know, he kind of did. That's um, you want to talk about more Tom Fuller? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made the mic pop. That's yeah. nice. Um, Elon Musk, brain chips. You see this in the news? No. You know Neuralink? Yeah. Neuralink. Um, there's a fella with Neuralink in his head. The first chip. Actual? Real, on God. And they had him playing chess with it. How's he, like, on? He's playing, like... Yeah, he's on the computer, and he's like, duh, 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 like playing it with his mind. Jesus Christ! Picking where pieces go. That's crazy to me. That yeah, no, I are, didn't know that happened. We that are very rapidly progressing. I thought we had at least like thirty years. I I thought yeah, we it's not Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven quite yet. Yeah, but they he that person played chess. They played chess. Would you like? You'd think they'd start with checkers. <laughs> yeah, but way easier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's playing chess, dude. Yeah. I think that's that's crazy. That is out of my pay grade. I can't even imagine how to attempt to do that. Mm. But there's people like Elon Musk and his workers who are like working Fuck. overtime. Fuck it, put the chip in his head. We're good to go. Yeah, we're good. Look, there's things that scary about scare me about Neuralink because it didn't they years ago do a bunch of testing on monkeys and all of the subjects died. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a bit. So I've got worries. Uh, Would you get a brain chip? I was about to say, what? Okay. I wouldn't be an early adopter. No, I'm not in the ter- I'm not in the first one. How many, no yeah, shot. how many gens? Like, you know, I, iPhone 10, iPhone 8, yeah. iPhone 11. Like, how far do they have to get in the newer link before you're like, ah, yeah, yeah pop it in. I'll get the latest update. I'll upgrade after like six years. I need like Until the screen's cracked and shit. I need to have like at least like a billion people have it before me. Hmm? Yeah. Because hmm. then I'm like, okay, we have enough of a base here and I need all of them to survive. Oh, yeah. I don't need like a billion people got the chip. And like a hundred thousand got fried. Yeah. Yeah. That's too much. Oh, yeah. I don't care if it's a billion people and like even 50k died. Mm. No, dude. I need like I need that Generation 6, like, it's foolproof now. Yeah. It's I'm like a thing in and my head won't explode. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried about Neuralink because I feel like, I feel like probably just as we're about to die, Tom, we're probably going to get to like the apex of technology where yeah. it's going to, we're, we're probably going to die right before it's like actually cyborg, cyborgs IRL, you yeah. know? Where people can like make Lego Technic hands and control the chip in their mind, yeah. and they won't even have to, you know like a uh, bionic hands. How they can be like, yeah. We're gonna get to a point probably where like Neuralink can be like as a yeah, normal like hand. Throw up the set and stuff. Throw <laughs> up the set. <laughs> it's like casually. That'd be the first thing I'd do. <laughs> yeah, phase up. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the first thing. Like, can you test if it it worked? Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> Immediately, yeah, yeah. It's so weird that he, like, you'd think they would use Neuralink for that first. That seems like the most conventional, yeah, usage is to help disabled people. But Ro was like, "Nah, let up." Hold on, I'm Grandmaster. Let me, <laughs> let me go what through. Elo are you? Let's see if you can improve with microchips. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon uh, he like made a like a miss move by accident because it like didn't work properly? He's like, "God damn it!" And he like gave like, up his porn. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> no, a classic fumble is like fuck the Neuralink fucked me yeah dude I <laughs> who was gonna try and like gather my queen why would I not do that and my castle got fucked thanks yeah. Elon lol just lost to Hikamaru yeah <laughs> <laughs> exploit the brain chip at that point yeah, yeah call it a day <laughs> yeah yeah I'm worried <laughs> that's the other big thing I'm worried about is if there's a kill switch in all of the Neuralinks <laughs> oh, yeah 100% you think so yeah Elon is just like ah uh, well ah uh, well well, unlucky to be you. Yeah. Unlucky day. Bink. And yeah. Gone. Yeah. It's just a bunch of people's heads popping. Yeah. Yeah. I'm either scared about that or I'm scared about uh, either getting advertisements in my brain. Yeah. Where something like stings in my head if I look away from a screen. Oh. Like imagine a YouTube ad comes off and it's just like. Like, sometimes I physically just look away from it. I'm just like, you're not even getting that from me. <laughs> you turn on the radio. 
<laughs> like stuff. Yeah. You get an ad on the radio, you're like, nope. Yeah, I, I do that. I do that. Yeah. If I get an ad on Spotify and shit, I actually bothered to buy Spotify Premium now. You did? Yeah. I I can't take the advertisements Move it up in the world. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I moved into a new tax bracket. Yeah. Um Moving up. Um 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 yeah, fifteen hours of audiobooks. <laughs> Count me in. Wow. <laughs> um, I did actually use one of the audiobooks. In yeah. Fairness, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's pretty shit. It was a shit audiobook. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Atomic Habits is not worth it. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Um. 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 um yeah, I'd be scared of uh, Neuralink giving me ads, where it was like, if I look away from the screen, it would do like, it would lower my serotonin and yeah. start stinging me. Yeah. And it would go. In the back of my head, and I go, <laughs> and I have to look at the screen. Yeah, you know, yeah. or it would uh, twinge my fibers in my it, like my nerves in my brain to keep my eyes open. I was thinking, what if it could make you like not sleep? Yeah, yeah. What if you could just constantly stimulate it like you're awake twenty four seven? I could probably crack. That'd be crack probably. The, the, like, I'm a bit tired. I hear that's what the crack rock does. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I guess. I guess that'll do it. I hear we already have that. Yeah, actually, we're pretty evolved Neuralink, past that. Neuralink, and it just <laughs> it just releases little pockets of meth that you stuck up your nose. Yeah, and you it just releases like zins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neuralink powered meth dispenser in your mind. Yeah, and it's just like okay, absorb this shit directly. <laughs> yeah, it goes straight to the brain. Yeah, not even like to the <laughs> veins, to the brain. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. I reckon we do it. Yeah, yeah. That, is, that is something that is, I think about a lot is is sleep. <laughs> no, um, That's it. Uh, how, if we'll ever be able to develop technology to overcome the need to sleep, because I feel like that's been, that has been like a hard line, like block in people. Yeah. Is like, we've developed ways to sleep more comfortable, but at the end of the day, our body has needed sleep. You yeah. Know? And I wonder if we're ever technologically going to be able to surpass that. Surely. Surely we have something around the corner. You think like so? We need the optimizer or way more, so you need way less. True, true. Yeah, just uh, a direct passage. If there's a way to get your... Into REM. Yeah, get your brain directly into REM. Yeah, and like your circadian rhythm is... Like and to like... Yeah, and or maybe a way... Uh, you know how your brain like it reaches REM, and then if you wake up, you've just cut off. Yeah. Maybe there's a way uh, in the future to develop sleep so that you could get four hours and it would perfectly go through and time it and go through the... Yeah. So you go through light sleep and into deep sleep, into REM, you know, and then out by the time you needed it without yeah. having to train your mind, but if it just artificially forced your mind. Yeah. You know, I'm getting Neuralink. It's badass. Yeah, maybe. We're kind of, yeah, we're kind of fans of this now. Yeah. Do you think Neuralink's going to have dark mode? Dude, if you use if you're edgy enough to get your neural like, and use dark mode, yeah. you deserve to have your brain fried. You don't like dark mode, I remember now. No, dude, I hate it. Lame. Dude, no, why would I want Lame. that? Lame. Bro uses light mode. Like a normal person. Can we get L's in the comments and chat? No, dude. L's in chat. Bro Shut uses up. L for light mode. <laughs> Shut up. L it's and a, light. It's a stock how it comes. L and light? What is that? Death note? Good reference. Shut up. <laughs> uh, one of our fans like that probably. Yeah, uh, one of like that bar. <laughs> oh, oh, I like Death Note. Yeah, that was a bar. God I damn. do like Death Note. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we talking about? Uh, death Note. Neuralink. Yeah, yeah. I think Neuralink would be the Death Note. Elon Musk probably has the Neuralink Death Note. Oh yeah. He's probably got everyone's name written down. He can just yeah, just like person. Uh, shut off all. Four. Gone. Yeah. You're gone. And he's like, flicks a switch. And you criticized uh, Elon Musk on Twitter with Neuralink in your head. You're really fucking smart. Oh, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> Gone. Deleted. Yeah. I wish I could do an Elon Musk impression to skit that out. But he's he got a like a weird accent. Asperger's like South African. South African yeah. Like, like mm. deep. and doesn't talk much. Yeah, he's like, mm, well, I really like Overwatch. That's my favorite game. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are we talking about? Neuralink. Scary shit. Gang, don't... Uh, 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 wait. In the comments below, would you put Neuralink in your head? That would be optimized, yeah. 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 Optimized we for have retention. Yeah. Yeah. I also found out, I watched the last episode and I said like, like, 
and make sure to like and everything. And the specific phrase you meant to say, apparently, is like button. I didn't say that once. <laughs> no. So the thing, the like thing didn't actually pop up. Apparently, oh. you meant to say like button. Okay. But hopefully, if I say like button, this is lighting up the like button on YouTube. Yeah. Look like, down below and you'll see the like button lighting up right mm. now. If I fail this two episodes in a row and the like button doesn't glow, uh, I'm going to feel like a right fucking idiot. Yeah. Not going to lie. You also started at the start of the episode. Last episode was like... That was a lot of saying episode, my bad. At the start of last episode, you were like, this is going to be our viewer retention episode. <laughs> Not once did you ask them. No. You're like... Gang, the first what question. do you think of v- VTubers? What do you think of my birthday party? Nice. What do you think of uh, McNamara's 100,000 from last episode? Good reference. Nice. What do you guys think of Death Note? What do you guys think of Neuralink? What else did we talk about already? Um, How long have we been going? 52 minutes. Jeez, Get sorry. out of here. What do you guys think of 52 minutes? What do you guys think of infomercials? What do you guys think of fake yeah, workouts? Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. Uh, how about that? Ain't that something? What do you guys think of Milo Minis? You seen Milo Minis? Yeah. I showed that, yeah. yeah was, Shit's gas. Haven't had them yet, but I imagine they're probably... Elite. You get around it. Get around yeah. it. What do you think of Milo Minis? Audience? Audience? What do you think of Tabascus? <laughs> um, draft topic? Yeah, we can. <coughs> it's, is, a, is this a hater? Preface this? Is it a hater? Is it one of your final performance? This was given to me by my mother. Recommended by my mother. And she... Sorry, I'll go to the intro really quickly. At your birthday party, all she talked to me about was our gay clips. Of all, literally all she talked to me about was the cucumber mm-hmm. and the would you suck dick. Mm-hmm. And I was like, thank yeah. you, Rebe- Rebecca, for I bringing this up. It's the first time you've met my girlfriend in front of me. Man, that digital footprint. <laughs> oh, it hit me. It's bad. <clears throat> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, literally the first uh, time my girlfriend met everyone. They were all like, you're... You'd suck dick to save a life, and you'd put cucumber inside of you. Oh well. And you, I was like, yeah. I stand on business. I would. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I stand on business. <laughs> I stand on business. <laughs> um. Okay. <clears throat> My mother suggested this. Draft topic. Best foods to eat while driving. Oh damn! That's kind of a good one. I know. I know. Yeah, this is gonna be a good clip. I think she's. So. I'm gonna cut the bit in the clip where you say it was. She gave it to you, probably. Yep. And she's going to be like, I wonder what this drop topic is. And then she's going to be like, yeah, she's going to get hyped. Because she probably has like a top five where she's like, come on, come on, guys. Say it. Yeah, yeah. Me start? I can't even, I'm trying to think about you. Damn, you're getting roasted. Let me get burger. Let me get burger. It's made for eating while driving. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Drive through, grab burger, unwrap half, eat, drive, eat, drive. Yeah. It's the, it's the perfect setup. It's a perfect set. You grab it from the drive through and just chump, yeah. chump it down. Yep. I was going to go something you don't actually really need your hands for. Yep. Lollipop. Lollipop. It sits while you're eating. You're eating it constantly. And then you can do the perfect 10 to 9. 10 to 9. That's not how you drive a car. 9, nine three to 3? 12? Whatever. <laughs> no, three. 3 to 6. Whatever. 3 to nothing. <laughs> 3 to 6. <laughs> <laughs> Like, was so was it nine to three? Nine <laughs> to three is like <laughs> two to no, no. That's how the guy from The Incredibles drives his car, bro. <laughs> That's how Mister Incredible drives with the nine to three. <laughs> three to ten. Three, three to eleven. Uh, ten. Two to ten. Ten to two. Ten to two. Ten to two. Ten to two. Yeah. Yeah. Lollipops <laughs> like you have the ten to two. What <laughs> <laughs> you a gangster? Yeah, just twelve. <laughs> Yeah, lollipop. I see lollipop. Yeah, I like lollipop. lollipop. Yeah, you can just. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay, let me get. Can't have burger without fries. <laughs> yeah, real, real. Yeah, bang, 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 bang. Yeah, you don't need to look. That's the perfect pregame. Yeah, if you're not feeling the burger, burger can get messy. Yeah, especially real quick, real quick. 
the fuck is up with gourmet burger places? And you go there and, oh, I'm going to have a burger. And it just fucking slides out. A whole sandwich slides out of itself. Yeah, I know. McDonald's has this shit down. Everything <laughs> is the same size. It's it's it's, you know, it's, they glue that shit together. It's like a prop. <laughs> it's, it's a prop. A it's an advertisement prop. They accidentally gave you the old Big Mac from a 1995 <laughs> commercial. It tastes the exact same. Anywhere else? Ooh, ooh it's a special sauce. You, slides out. Fuck yeah, you. you. Cucumber on the floor. <laughs> bite one end. Fung. Like, why did it yeah. do that? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, chips. Fries. Uh, this might be hard because you need kind of need sauce. Hmm? I was going to say chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? You might need to go for a sauce. Yeah. And if you have an accomplice in the car, you can ask them to open the sauce and mm. it's... Mm. But if you if you already know you I don't want sauce or it's open... Yep. Bang, 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 I feel you. Dude, bang, bang. we get apple slices. We got the whole Big Mac meal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. I want the boys' toy. I'll say that much. Yeah. Um, let me get like a fucking beer. Oh, behind the wheel? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, drink while driving is awesome. That's what I'm saying. I stand behind that. I'm oh, not going to... St- yeah. I don't. I don't. I do. So don't clip that. I will. Yeah, okay. That didn't... That might bite me in the ass. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Just have a bit. Just Look, cut, like, Show them this raw audio of the podcast. I like, see, I see. Yeah. Look, I don't support boozing and cruising. <laughs> <laughs> I don't support literal... But I will or- say... More crashes are caused by sober drivers. Hey! Ooh, oh. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, beer. Beer, okay. Sh- big long oh, neck. I, I was not ready for another one. Too long much. neck, too big to sit in the cup holder. Jesus Christ, dude. That's how you know you're on a, <laughs> you're on a good drive. <laughs> you two hands to lift it type. Like, <laughs> oh, it's yeah. It's a stein. Yeah. It's like a giant one. I'm going to need some Oktoberfest shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh, let me just get banana. Banana? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've had a tack banana while driving before. Yeah? Yeah. That's fair. I've had a tack. I think you, I have too. Yeah. The pre- <laughs> you chuck it out the window? <laughs> Fung! Yeah, and it's a green... It's green waste, so it's, it's green fine. Waste, so it like goes dissolves. to the world. Yeah. It's, so it like dissolves. Yeah. I've got a, I've gone banana and thrown it, for sure. Yup, yup. Yeah, and it dissolves within like a week. So mm. I'm like... I'm basically doing a good thing for the earth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call upon my father, a trucker. He knows about eating while driving. Yeah. He's American. He's been to the border of Mexico and back, and even into Mexico and back. Okay. Tacos. Yeah? Tacos. Soft or hard? I think hard. Yeah. Yeah. Soft, the open end, not good. Can't go vertical. Yeah. Can't go vertical. I don't know. Maybe you need to have the trucker skill, but my, my dad who's been to Mexico trucking, he knows this. This is like his... This is his blood, you yeah. know. Yeah, he's got bread. hard... Yeah. It's this is better. his bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah. Tacos. Yeah. Yeah, you got to go hard shell. Mm. You can't go soft or tip at the bottom. Mm. Yeah. I think I I think I kind of stumbled onto a pretty... I think a good one. Yeah. Hot dog. I was going to say hot dog. You I say said dog? I said bread and butter and I was like, add a hot dog. That's what gave me a hot dog. Yeah. Yeah, you said Shouldn't bread and butter. Shouldn't have said that. God like, damn. I just had hot dogs last night. Yeah. And I was like, dude, you're like, bread and butter. I was like, hot dog. Because, mm. dude, they're, they're a stationary food. that bang. You're not yeah. tipping? You're not dipping? Yep. It's straight bang. Yep. Business has finished. I think, yeah, the hot dog fully works. It needs to have, like, minimal... Um, toppings. Yeah, minimal You're not toppings. You're going onions and, like... You can't do onion relish. You can't do fried onions. No. Fried onions are going to fall off on your floor. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're going to be one of those people who's, like, they actually eat in their car, and it's, like, all dribble down their front. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're going minimal. Like, you're going almost like light sauce. Yeah. Just in case. Mm, mm. Man, you got me in a sticky position to yeah. end it. I'm trying to think of some good ones. Yeah. It's not like good food. Uh, what's coming to my mind right now? Just say, just Maybe spitball. Either lollies or chocolate. Chocolate might be a move. Chocolate might be the move. Yeah. My only worry with chocolate, it's going to get in your hands, surely. I feel you, <laughs> you like you tear out teeth? Yeah, I'm thinking like M&Ms and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'll thinking think of like something you can... Yeah, but then it's getting the coloured hands. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. dude. You're rocking like Maltesers. Hot you day. In there. Yeah. Hot 30 degree day, you're driving. You know, the aircon's not going to be hitting that bag. No. 
not going to be hitting the bag it's of... It's a drink at that point. Uh, the peanut M&M's. It's a milkshake at that point. Yeah, actually. your hands are sweating on the wheel. Yeah. You know. They're like blue and red, like old print of like M&M's on your fingers. You yeah, know? dude, you can see an M. Yeah. Your, yeah. <laughs> see the M, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's I'll say chocolate, but maybe on a cool day. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else. What am I eating while driving? Because I hit banana, and that was like my... That was my like creme de la crop. Yeah. Because I've had a lot of tack bananas while driving. Yeah. Yeah. You look like it. What? It's just easy. It's like a granada and you throw it. Yeah. Banana is a good one. Yeah. Banana is a good one. What's another? I don't think of any other food. Hmm. I think I've had a burrito while driving. A burrito, a burrito while driving? Yeah. Yeah. Foiled up? Yeah. 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 You know what? I think that's the way. It's a way to go hard, soft shell. Yeah, soft shell, all packed but, together. Yeah, night. but safety. There's yeah. a safety net at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a really good. And if up. you don't, if you want to, it's like spicing it up. You don't want to go like a burger. Mm. It could be, you get bored of the flavor. Yeah. You don't want to go like taco. You might get bored of the flavor. Yeah. You're mixing it up spicy burrito. Yeah, you could have big fat burrito. One yeah. that like you, several chomps to take down a layer. Yeah. You're starting off that first one. It's like a, God, this is all dough. Like, it is all tortilla. Oh, yeah. And you're like, I have to do this. Yeah. And you're sitting there. You have to go through the pain. It's like long-term pleasure. Yeah. Versus short-term pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, You're taking at least like three turns or still chewing dough. Yeah. You got to go through that doughy tortilla. Yeah. 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 (laughs) I think we have a good lineup. Yeah, I reckon that's pretty good. Who had the better lineup? Actually. Yeah. I reckon I did. I hit lollipop and burrito. Yeah. It's a solid. I had fries. I think fries are an iconic that is driving the, that snack. Is the driving snack. I think so. And yeah. beer. You didn't even get any alcohol yeah, in. Yeah, I didn't. You could have said Jim Bean. Yeah. If, oh, man. Yeah, no, I didn't no. even say whiskey or nothing. No, we didn't. Move. I could get a revised. Just add more alcohol. Yeah, we could have gone like anything. Shots. Shots because they're quick. Mm. You're, not, you're not guzzling. I feel like shots are kind of delicate though. I think the long neck provides... Jelly shots. But bring in, I bring mean, in jelly shots in the yeah. car. Yeah. 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 That's like a lot of pre... You have to cool that overnight. That's a lot of <laughs> yeah. preparation. You'd think you'd wake up to be like, I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> That's so premeditated. <laughs> you went to bed being like, I can't wait to drink drugs. <laughs> That's so premeditated. It's like the special ones are like halfway, like different colors. Yeah. So you had to go in, it, flip them, add more alcohol, and be like, dude, I'm going to do this twice. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Like uh, let me get my jelly shots out. Let me get like a couple just to give me a buzz. Yeah. While <laughs> that yeah. is so premeditated. Jelly shots while driving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Audience we- retention. What do you think about boozing and cruising? That's going to be scuffed if you like lost a loved one to a drunk driver. Take that back. It's bad. Womp womp. No, not womp womp. That's no, terrible. I mean, it's bad, like a sad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty deplorable. We didn't even say gum. Gum's like the driving Yeah, food. I suppose, but it's like... I don't not know. really a food. What, do you want to go chewing tobacco then? I'm going dip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dip. Yeah, dip. Mm-mm, give me some dip. I'm going like... I must be like... And I'm spitting that little thing. Out the thing. car? Yeah. Apparently, apparently my grandpa used to just have a cup in the cup holder. That's it's like yeah. a styrofoam cup and you do it. Yeah. Gross. Imagine like after a week, a week of dip in a cup. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. That's the way the Southerners do it, man. Yeah. I'm taking Zins. Yeah. Zins is my number one. <laughs> Dude, at the office uh, last week, huh? one of the dudes, before we went and played ping pong, he was like, wait, I need to do an upper decky. And I was like, what, what do you mean? And he was like, before we play table tennis, I need to pop a zin. And he put it in his top lip. He did an upper decker. What the hell? Table t- what is zin? You know it's what a like, zin is? Is it just nicotine? It's like a little packet of nicotine. Yeah? I think so, yeah. Strange. All I know, literally all I know about it, is I've seen clips of like Tucker Carlson. Ripping zins? Yeah. Hell yeah. And he's like, it's my favorite thing. Like, I really love it. I do before every, like, news broadcast. Not now. He doesn't do news now. He does other stuff. But, like, 
I don't know. Yeah, he was probably ripping Zins before he talked to Putin. So good yeah. on him. I don't know what Zins actually are. Yeah. They're little pouches, apparently. Little pouches. It's, yeah, nicotine pouches. Oh. <laughs> are placed between the gum and upper lip. So they're little, like, they look like pieces of gum. Yeah, I you know thought... Like I thought pillow, white gum looking things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. I thought they were... I, I literally thought they were just nicotine gum. No, it's like little pouches. Hmm. Yeah. Look like... Right, I'll try and... I'll pull up an image for you. Thanks, man. Make That's sure... what they look like. Ooh, strange. Yeah. Strange. Gang, are we doing nicotine? Are we doing zins? Are we doing zins? Nicotine... Raw is good for you. It's meant to increase... Um, I don't know. Accuracy in FPS games. Hell yeah. It's G like it's like, like gamer subs. Yeah, G fuel is like ninety five percent nicotine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's a bit odd. It's actually the chemicals in the cigarette that's They're bad. For four dollars for a packet of them. What? Trying <laughs> zins on the podcast? Yeah. Let's do smelling. I want to do smelling salts a bit. Yeah, that'd be so fun. We'll get around to it. Yeah, we will do smelling salts on the. Yeah, so, yeah. That'll and look I'll, like we're doing, and, meth, and then I'll though. fall down a cliff. <laughs> yeah, that'll actually look like we're doing mad. It will. <laughs> we're gonna be in like a random like place, that's like, yeah, and we're like <laughs> screaming. Like, yeah. no, they just kind of mean. What happened over there? Yeah. Let's do a Fent podcast. A what? Fent. Like Fent. Fentanyl. Fentanyl. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Oh, well, we're the Fent cast, and we're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well Audio cool. listeners, we're doing a joke where we had taken fentanyl and we're like leaning over like a fent addict. Yeah, but you know the like the random clips of like yeah fent users and they're just like, man, opioid epidemic really got me down. They're always like this. They're always like you're like holding something and they're just like, yeah, this shit's bad for you. Yeah, probably feels so good though. <laughs> <laughs> Audience, are we rocking with fent. Is fentanyl good? Oh, very likely. What? Next episode, we're doing fentanyl. That would actually go hard. Should we do fentanyl next episode? So many bubbles. I shook it too much. I know. It was My bad. Hold on. I shook it too much. There's too many bubbles, dude. Just quit shaking it then. Damn. <laughs> it's on an edge. God damn it. It's still it's, on an edge. It's not a very good eight ball. Um, what does that say? Don't bet on it. Yeah. Uh, oh, God damn it. We'll do it one of these episodes. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're getting pretty late into it. Know, yeah. Do we just want to hit up a Reddit to go? We can. Hit up a Reddit to go. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to read a quick Am I the Asshole for the culture? Yep. Yeah. Gang, we're going to finish this off with the Reddit corner. Yeah, we've got a couple of Reddits. I have a... Huh? I'll, I'll talk to you after. <laughs> Because I have, <laughs> I have two stories about my asshole. Yep. And then I kind of have a heater. Okay. A, a sign one that I didn't tell you about. You know what? I'll save my Reddit for another time. Actually, okay. I feel like we'd go over time if we did it. This is a, am I the asshole? And we use the magic eight ball. Yeah. Okay. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for blowing up on my husband's friend after, after, fuck, I fuck all of that up. I'll restart that bit. <laughs> Am I the asshole for blowing up on my husband's friend after her wife died? Like with it, blowing them up like a rocket launcher? No, like it's like, no, not not <laughs> killing them, dude. Yeah, that's why. Yes, you're the asshole. <laughs> yeah, no, that's murder. Yeah, you're a bad person for that. I'm a bad guy for fucking <laughs> doing a gas leak and making him light a match in his house. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, go. I'm a bad person for doing a literal carbon monoxide leak in his house and not telling him. Am I the bad person for joining the IRA and car bombing my ex? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so, my husband Ian is close friends with a woman named Jenna. They've been friends for a long time before Ian and I got together. Okay. So, I know her fairly well, but really have nothing in common and we're not exactly friends. Jenna's wife, Laura, very sadly and somewhat suddenly passed away in early March. She was terminally ill, but it was expected to survive two to five extra years. Whoa. She's been leaning on Ian heavily for support, which I understand, but she's been at our house every single day since and even sleeping in our guest room most nights because she mm. doesn't want to be home alone. Mm. 
which would be okay, except she gets more and more passive aggressive towards me and weirdly territorial of Ian. Yep. I've remi- reminded myself I don't think I could stand to see a happy couple for months if I lost Ian and be so patient. My birthday was on Sunday. I got home Saturday after a morning out and Jenna was there. I was making small talk uh, when I asked Ian what time we had dinner reservations for the next day. Yep. Jenna inserted herself here and asked Ian if he was going to go out the next day and he said yes. She started panicking and saying that she he couldn't and she wasn't ready to spend the evening alone. I was going to tell her that she could hang out there for a little bit while we were gone, but she looked at me and said, don't you have any friends you can go with? And I just blew up. I said, don't you have any other friends you can go with? And so on. She called me selfish for monopolizing my husband. And I had had enough and told her to get out of my house and never come back. Ian had been trying to calm things down between us, but I spiraled out of control fast and ended up escorting Jenna out and telling her that they'd never come back. (laughs) Mm. But uh, Ian started backing my decision because of how she spoke to me. I was happy for his support and still am. But it's been a few days and I just feel bad about all of it. I should have been more under- understanding of her, but I feel like she should treat me more respectfully. Am I? Sh- did I overreact? Ian be like, damn, bitches be crazy. Yeah. He had women <laughs> fighting over him, to be fair. Huh? He had women fighting over him. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably not the arsehole. Um, the lady? The unnamed lady? Because there's Jenna and there's Ian and then... Storyteller. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, the storyteller. Look, I was... In the pretty. To begin with, I was kind of like, yeah, you're the asshole. This person's in a very emotionally vulnerable state. And she's relying on like probably, her best friend. They probably have like postpartum depression. Yeah. Not postpartum, but like some, you know, yeah. their wife died depression. Yeah. Um, And they're relying on like their best friend to be like, mm. let's hang out. Let's, yeah. Mm. But then they got territorial over Ian. Yeah. It sounds like they're spiraling. Yeah. I'd say they're not the arsehole. No. They're, it does, you know, you still have to watch out for yourself and what you have going on. Yeah. I think. Yeah, but like, you going out for your birthday dinner and then being like, don't go out. Yeah. Stay here. I don't want to be alone. Yeah. When you're about to invite them and be like, you can come with us if you need. Yeah. But before that, like, no, Ian, you cannot go out. Sounds like... You are not going out to dinner. Yeah. Sounds like this other lady... It's probably in just in a very, very emotional state. Yeah. And probably very vulnerable, needs someone there for him. But, you know, she's just in a bad state. Doesn't really, not thinking logically, not, you know, not in the correct wavelength. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That story uh, just made me sad. I'm not going to lie, Tom. <laughs> My bad. It was just the story of like, this woman losing her wife and to going, cancer. And like, really sad and, like, crazy. Losing her wife to a terminal illness out of <laughs> nowhere suddenly. Like grow up. And then losing their best friend. Yeah. And just totally, like, their life is in shambles. And yeah, they've got they don't have anyone now, actually. They don't have anyone. Yeah. And from the sounds of it, they don't have, like, a home to go to. No, not really. No. Yeah, because they stood at their, yeah. You, like, stayed at their house for, like, a month. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you kind of just ruined their life. That, that was kind of sad. You're reflecting on it, you might be the arsehole. I think it's just a sad situation yeah. for all involved. Because um, the other lady, the storyteller, was literally like unlucky. Yeah. Like, roll up. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Nah, mate. That's live. That's live. Yeah. Are they the arsehole? Are they the arsehole? Ar- audience? Um. Uh, not really. Yeah, it depends on the day, you know. Hit me with another, Tom. Can Wait. I? Magic 8 Ball of the podcast. Are they the asshole in this situation? Don't bet on it. Fair enough. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Brin, brin. I love these I cars outside. I hope you Actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next, this is... These are the top ones of this month, by the way. Oh, that last one. We're getting haters. Yep. Got twenty k upvotes. What was the general sentiment in the comments? Not an asshole. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, fair enough. And then this one has that first one had only seventeen hundred comments. Mm. This next one has seventeen k upvotes. Yeah, 
but 4,000 comments. Okay, okay. Small fries. Right. Am I the asshole for telling my mum and dad they have to get their nose pierced if they want to see my daughter again? What? Do you want a quick... Do you think that the asshole off that? Chat, is this real? <laughs> Shut up. No, that does sound... Uh, that sounds like you're the asshole. Don't force people to get pierced. That's absurd. Yeah. Hit me. My husband and I travel down to Mexico to visit my family. I am an American citizen. My mum and dad are not. My mum and dad got my daughter earrings for her birthday. My daughter's ears are not pierced. She is only one years old. I told them that I would save them for her until she was old enough to get her ears pierced. We left my daughter with my parents while we were going to meet up with some friends. Uh, when we went to pick up my daughter, my mum showed us that we didn't need to wait because she had taken her to get her ears pierced. At one. Yeah. I got my daughter and I dragged my husband out of there before I lost it all. Went back to our hotel. I'm furious. My husband said that my parents are not allowed to see... <laughs> I'm not allowed to spend time alone with my daughter ever again. Fair. I went further. I said that I would not be bringing her or any of the kids we have we have down to see my parents. We checked out three days early and went home. Mm-hmm. On the way home, my parents were calling to see when we were coming over. I ignored all the calls and texts until we got back home. Mm. We took a couple of days to think over everything and cool down. I finally called them, asked them not to speak until I was done talking. I told them that my husband and I are upset with them for getting our baby's ears pierced without our permission. I told them that we went back home and we'll probably never visit. They said that my sister and I both have our ears pierced when we were both babies and it did not harm us. I said that we were not going to change our minds. They started getting everyone, including my grandmother, to call me and say that I was being ridiculous. I talked to my husband and we came up with the compromise. We agreed that we would resume visits, but not alone time. With them, if they both got their nose pierced. They said they were that we were being stupid, and we are not going to do that. I have no problem, and hung up. We started blocking anyone who tries to call us, and gave us talk for denying our parents right to see my daughter. Mm. Am I the arsehole? No, don't think so. You don't think they're the arsehole? No. Probably not, no. Probably not. That no. kind of because you trusted them, you told them, you prefaced that. Be like, yeah, I'm not going to do it until they're old enough to like do it. Yeah, like I wouldn't go so far to say it was like child abuse. No, I feel, I feel like if you're saying that's child abuse, that's like okay, get real. Yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, no, that's there was like a breach of trust big time. Yeah, over your kid, not their right. Yeah. I think that was a no-no. Yeah, you're like you prefaced like we're not going to do this until they're old enough and they want to do it. Mm, that's and it. And you left for like three hours most. Yeah. And, and they just bang, don't worry. Yeah, that was they pre- We bro. gave them the industrial. Yeah. They you know, the, the top one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got them the rings. Like We got them the stretcher. <laughs> stretcher at one. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're the arsehole. What did everyone vote? No. I don't think so. What do you think everyone voted? Um... I think with the way that Reddit is, a lot of rebellious people, uh, I don't think... I think they're also not the arsehole to the Reddit crowd. Correct. Everyone said Correct. not the arsehole. Yep. Yeah. Not the asshole. They have no right to pierce your kids. Is that what they're saying in the comments? Yeah. 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 Not the asshole. That's child abuse. You should report them to... Yeah, they're like, hey, you broke their trust. I yeah. understand you, parents. I do the same thing. I do. Yeah. 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 Look, I don't know. Maybe... You know, cool down a little bit. Probably, like, chill out. You can still visit, like, your parents. Yeah, they don't have to get their, like, ears and nose pierced. To see yeah, anything. like, just, yeah, don't go crazy, crazy about it. There's probably more diplomatic ways to resolve it. Yeah. But. You didn't need to be like, you'll never see my kid again because they got their nose pierced or yeah. ears pierced. You're not being the asshole about it. People should never yeah. write. You have you have the right to shut yourself off from them like that, I think. Yeah, yeah. You have the right. Yeah. It's odd. You're not going to surely... Imagine the ultimatum is your kid's grandparents mm. have to get their like, ears and nose pierced. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit odd. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a bit tomfoolery, but... Yeah. Deserved. Not the yeah. Huh? Deserved. I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Reddit audience, do you think that was their asshole? What else was it? Reddit. 
Are they the asshole? <laughs> Just different takes. Audience. <laughs> yeah. Zoolander 2, pretty bad, hey? Not as good as Zoolander 1. <laughs> I haven't seen them. You haven't seen Zoolander? No. You haven't seen Zoolander? No. Really. You don't know Magnum Steel? You don't know... I know that it's like a meme. Is it Nicolas Cage? No, it's Ben Stiller. Oh, shit. Sure. Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. Oh. Wow. They're both in that at the museum. They're both in Zoolander. Oh, at one and two? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're both the main characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They you give them a uh, give them Magnum Steel. Oh, damn. Do you want to finish up? Yeah, we can. About an hour twenty in. Yeah. Unless you have a ten minute joke. <sighs> no, it's alright. No. It take us ten minutes to do an outro. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do the outro song. How does it even go? <clears throat> We hope you enjoyed the <laughs> podcast. We hope you liked it well. We hope you the, 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 the thought this podcast went swell. Nice. We're on Spotify and YouTube. <laughs> and we're on Instagram and TikTok. Make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to ring the bell. Nice. We liked the podcast with Tom and Cole. We like to podcast with Tom and Cole. We like to podcast with Tom and Cole. They are our friends. And yep, yep. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the like button. Does it say like button? And did it light up on did YouTube? It up, did it light up you. on YouTube? Make sure to heart on Spotify and whatever, however it's Spotify work. You follow us on Spotify. Sp- do you follow on Spotify? Yeah. How does it work? Yeah. Yeah. You follow on Spotify. Make sure to give a five star review on Spotify and make sure to follow TikTok on Instagram and like all the videos and yeah. subscribe. Make sure to share with a friend share with and. A friend. Yep. Make sure to comment and like and save. Yeah. Go on YouTube and save to like watch later. Yeah. And, and like, yeah. Uh, watch the full thing. Look at uh, YouTube Reels. Yep. No. YouTube Shorts. Short. Instagram, Instagram Reels. Reels. TikTok. TikTok. Videos. Clips. clips. Yeah. And hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Let's harmonize really quickly. Oh. Hang on, keep going. Oh. 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 <laughs> we totally went opposite. <laughs> I want to do low now. Start us off. Oh. Oh. I can't do high. <laughs> you do high. I can't. Yes, you can. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's do a... Should we harmonize a tune? What tune should we harmonize? I'm feeling a Star Wars tune. Can I do the low bit? I can't okay. do high. Uh, do you just want to do like a... Like the march? Like the dun, dun, that's not, what has it go? Dun, 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 I'll do, I'm going to do like a... Okay. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> three, a two, a three, two, one, go. Star, it would do like the star fade out, yeah, and then it's just like it's back on the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> yeah. And we roll, we I, a full movie plays, yeah. the full, star the full Wars. movie is part of the podcast, <laughs> yeah. We're, is that, it extra four <clears throat> hours? That's no moon, that's a death star. <laughs> <laughs> I want those rebels come. And right now, the screen, the letters, the words are flying up. <laughs> the whole movie, <laughs> the whole okay, the, 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 the whole movie comes up, and then it's like, um. 
and then in it's the this, galaxy far, it's, far away. No, no, and then it's like okay, okay. <laughs> Visual viewers, you're gonna like this one. So it's like all the words come down, right? Yeah. Or like, and then I don't know, like, which way does it come? Yeah, it comes from that way and down. Yeah. So it's like the ship at the very episode four. It comes down and it's like, right. And it's like going into like the back, right? Yeah. And then like the giant like, yeah, that's yeah. behind it. And behind, and no, it's like the sound is like, yeah. Is it like follows? Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Let's do another Star Wars song just to end it. Uh, what's another? <clears throat> Do you know what that's called? That style of music? No. It's called jazz. Not joking. Oh. George Lucas said it was called jazz because it's called jazz. But it, you could click off like any time you want. Oh, by you way. Are done by click now. off any time you want. Feel free. Um. Yeah, it's called jazz because it's a fusion of jazz, of and, jazz and, and riz. It's a fusion of jazz and something else. That's what he said. Oh. Yeah, he actually said that in an interview. He's like, I'm just called jazz. Hi, my I'm Wally. I was I was looking at the. F- uh, we wanted to film like an alien kind of film to the movie. Uh, no. So we named the literal soundtrack like the we, the most we, iconic happy music jazz. We got what what planet the Tatooine. What what are those? What is this, the band called? What is that band called? It's like the t- Cantina. The Cantina band. Yeah. We gave the Cantina band a new sound called Jizz, and I called it Jizz, and it's like a fusion of uh, jazz and and something else I can't quite remember. <laughs> That's my yeah. George Lucas. Yeah, it's probably pretty spot on. That's my George Lucas uh, like director commentary. Yeah. <laughs> um. You can click off. I yeah. Here. All right. See you guys. See ya. Three, two, one. You can wait. Yeah. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. May May the fourth and we'll release this on May the fourth. Yeah. Even though it's recorded like March twenty fourth, twenty fifth. If you see this episode, we are dead and it did not release what we wanted no we saved this for if you're hearing this it's too late yep we've died favourite Star Wars quote um I can't hear they talk um <laughs> yes they talk um favourite Star Wars quote favourite Star Wars quote yeah no, there's so many actually I'm just trying to think of there is so many yeah, is there yes Luke I am your father yeah I guess um that's no moon yeah. That's a, that's, um, it's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah. Use the force. Yeah. As um. I st- I love you. I know. Yeah. When he goes in the carbonite. You were the chosen one. You were the chosen. Yeah. One. Yeah. 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 Yeah, dude. There's I so the many. There's yeah. so many prequel ones. Yeah. Okay. Favorite favorite prequel. Uh. Um, uh. Thing that they say. Do you have one in the back of the head you just want not to say? Really, not really. Not really. No. <laughs> I, I don't like sand. <laughs> <laughs> it's coarse and rough and it gets... Yeah. Every, yeah um. Um, um, there's... um. What's the... What's the word when they kill the kids? They say something right before they absolutely... Master agree. Anakin! Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. What, what, do they, what do they say? What do they say? We're not ending this until we remember what we they... We have to... Go, we must go. It's something like that. Yeah. It's like, um... Master Anakin! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, bro. They're like killing all, they're killing all the Jedis, would you believe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to believe this. Out that door. Anakin. Bodies. Anakin, it's so good you're here. You would not believe what's going on God, outside. This is good timing. Oh, just who I wanted to see. Anakin. These clones, they've gone haywire. <laughs> what did they say? What did they search what? for that? Uh, Younglings quote. Younglings quote. Um, <laughs> Anakin, you would not believe what just happened. Oh, Master Skywalker, <laughs> what are we going to do? Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my lightsaber sound. Yeah. Um, Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Some kid just. Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. All you hear is like a, like a, like the body hitting the floor. Yeah. The, yeah. the like arm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Apparently in that movie, I believe George Lucas's kid plays a youngling and dies in like a separate scene. Oh. Where he's like protecting his master as they get away and he gets like shot or something. Oh. No shit. No. Hmm. Do you have a quote you want to... Um, It'd be funny if you just... Now this that. is pod racing. <laughs> yeah. You can just be like, three, two, one. Like they probably say that. It's like pod racing. <laughs> That's my favorite bit. The countdown to the start of pod racing. Yeah. Is you all the sad stuff about that kid? What kid? The one who played... Uh, young... Yeah. Young Anakin. He got like shit bullied out of him. Yeah. That's lame. Who's your favorite Jedi? Mace Windu. Kit Fisto. Jesus, dude. Okay. Mm. Mace Windu's sick. He is pretty sick. Yeah. Purple lightsaber. Yeah. Kit Fisto gets taken out and it sucks. Yeah. But... I, I rep Kit Fisto. Long hair. He did a lot in the... um The animated series. Not the like big one, but the 2D animated series released in 2003. Jeez, you're okay, dude. You I know, I know, I know. That was insane. You know yeah. ball, I guess. Yep. Yeah. I just wanted to bring up, like, Mace Wind is the goat. He is the goat. Yeah. He, he is cool. I mean... Imagine being like, I can... A little bit overrated. Is. Doesn't he kill Django? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine being like, I could have a purple lightsaber. Yeah. He's... Okay, if Mace Window wasn't played by Samuel L. Jackson, he wouldn't be nearly as cool. No, and if his lightsaber was blue or green... Yeah, he kind Not of. Not as cool. He kind of had all. a lot going for him that made him cool. Yeah, he had power because he Kip was. Kip Fisto is just like. <sighs> yeah, like but Samuel L. Jackson. It's mm. Samuel L. Jackson. He had power. He was in like prime. Yeah, and he got a purple lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Samuel L. Jackson. They definitely, they they made Win- Mace Window cool by, but like they made him cool. He isn't intrinsically cool. You feel me? What are the best lightsaber colors? I'll go huh? first. Purple. We're just going to list lightsaber colors? Yeah. Mace Windu's the goat. White. Okay. There's yeah. white lightsaber colors. Like, uh, who was that chick? Who's the chick that has a white lightsaber? Uh, it's like Ahsoka? Ahsoka, yeah. she got the dual white lightsaber? Yeah, she got yeah. the white one. She does, she does. Uh, Ray's yellow. Ray has a yellow one. Ray does have a yellow, yellow one. Yellow one. That's pretty indie and cool. Yeah, isn't there like an orange one as yeah. well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Would you go on all the... Because we're not going like blue, green, red. No, that's just like the default. Blue is cringe. I'll be honest. Blue is cringe. Yeah, blue's no. cool. No, it's not for a lightsaber. Yeah, are you kidding me? Uh, it's a bit mixed. Blue is iconic. It's cooler than green for sure. I think so. Yeah, green is lame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red's cool to be like. Oh, I'm bad. I'm a sick. Okay, I, I think the lightsaber color they're cool depending on where they are. Okay, because I think blue on Hoth not that cool. No, but like blue. Blue on Mustafar, yeah, like the fiery, yeah, at the end of part three, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> so weird you know that. Yeah, I know Mustafar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this guy played Battlefront. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, see, that's sick. Yeah, purple's cool at any time. Yeah, yeah. Purple, purple rocks anytime. Yeah. I think red rocks anytime. Yeah, it's pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to do one more? One more Star Wars and then... Do you have a colour that you in mind or what? No, I was going to do... Can we do the Phantom Menace? Like... I don't know if I know it. I do not think I know this one. Is that the same... Th- I don't know. I don't know. All right, get out I of here. Have a there. You could have yeah. clicked off ten minutes ago. We were doing All more right. Star Wars names. May the Force be with you. May the Fourth. May the Fourth be with you. You were the chosen one. That's no moon. <laughs> <laughs> Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? Use the Force, Luke. Right, that was good. That was good. Yeah. Use the Force, Luke. Yeah. That was. Pre- yeah. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> I have the high ground. You have the high. We have the high ground. What is? Who is it? You have the high ground. I have the high ground. I have the high ground. You have I the have hi- the high ground, Anakin. Yeah. Don't try it. Yeah. Yeah. And then he just gets eaten by lava. Uh, yeah. What is the guy that Han Solo shoots in the in number four? And he's like McClunky. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one of what, the quotes like what is his he na- shot first? Yeah, like yeah. Uh, hand shot first or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. what is that guy's name? Greedo, Gre- yes. Greedo, 
Yeah. Okay, let's act out that sound. Let's act out the scene real quick. I'll be Greedo. Nice. My cook, I mean, can't go now. My cabot. My clunky. Shut up. My clunky. All right, see you guys. See ya. Episode 20. Episode 20. Big yeah, one. And we one. fucked it at the end. We talked about Star Wars Hi. for 25 minutes. Ha <laughs> ha